Hello guys, my name is Ali. On this channel, we talk about making money online. If this is something you're interested in, hit that subscribe button and continue on watching. Today, I want to talk about how to sell off some stocks from um, your M1 Finance app. As you guys can see, I only have one pie. I called it a tech pie because most of them, my holdings are all tech. And everything's in the green. Everything looks pretty good over here. Um, I got one uh, ETF and the rest of them are all tech pie. I mean tech uh, stocks. And um, you guys can see over here my... Um, all-time gain is um, 221.74, and um, the overall return I have is 50, almost 60 percent. So, and um, the total investment I have in here is 718 dollars um, and 76 cents. But in order for you to sell this, as you guys can see over here, I don't have any um, any other pies. Those are all individual stocks. So I have um, uh, Vanguard, uh, Meta, Amazon, Tesla, all the big. Um, um, big tech companies and uh, so far they've been doing really well for me and uh, what, I, what I'm trying to do today is sell my stock so here's what you need to do so for example if I do want to sell a stock what I would do I would click on the stock itself and as you guys can see over here it gives you an option to buy and sell so you want to do click on that right here and that's where it, it tells you you have to select a, a sell you can you can buy or sell so what you want to do you want to click on the sell button and um, turn off auto invest. We have we have to turn that off before we um, move on to the next step. We're gonna come down here. Available cash balance. I got fifteen dollars and eighty three cents. So we're gonna turn this off real quick. And um, it's gonna bring us back here. And from this point on, what we want to do. Is so if I want to sell the stock right now, the um, current price right now is one hundred twenty seven dollars and uh, eighty five cents. Say if I want to sell it, I'm going to tell it to sell at, uh, I'm not sure what's going on here. I'm having a little malfunction with my browser. Let me fix that and get right back to you guys. But anyway, what I want to say something, I want to say here is um, the, um, the stock is selling for $127.85. I can set this up um, to sell at $130. So when this stock goes up from $127.85 to $130, it'll automatically sell. So that's how you can set this up, okay? Let me figure out what's going on with my browser and I'll get right back to you guys. Sorry about that. All right, I guess I uh, all I had to do is just click on the screen and let me back in. I don't know what was going on. But anyway, what I did over here, I set the stock. Um, I, I t basically told M1 Finance app. By the way, this app is 100% uh, free. And if you guys are interested in um, getting started uh, buying stocks, um, click on the link below and get started. I believe they give you... Um, two shares for free or something like that but you get a lot of perks for being a, a, a new um uh for starting your finance with i mean you're investing with m1 finance and the link's going to be below check it out anyway so what i did over here i told the app to sell at 128 okay so right now it's 127.85 when i hit confirm and sell it would just go they would automatically do that for you here sell order placed will execute for you during the this afternoon trade so as soon as some as soon as the stock goes up it's going to sell automatically all right let me show you what to do next and as you guys you can see over here it says pending um pending uh sell of 128 dollars per stock and you can cancel it here if you want to and you come if you come down here it gives you a little more details uh your shares are 0.29 your um Average share price 375, cost is 109, um, uh, margin eligible. I'm not sure what that is. Let's go back here. It says whether or not the security can be leveraged with M1 borrow. If you, if a symbol has maintenance requirement of 100%. It is not eligible for M1 Barra. Okay, I'm not exactly sure what, what that means. You guys can kind of look it up yourselves. And uh, cost 109, uh, maintenance requirement, requirement, I'm not sure, 25%, I'm not sure what that is. The minimum of amount of uh, um, equity that must be maintained when leverage with M1. Oh, okay, so you have to have 25% to kind of buy the stock. So in order for you to uh, transfer your money after you make the sale, in order for you to transfer your money to your bank, you want to go, I'll go up top. You see what's their portfolio activities. Um, um, 
you guys can see there's a huge dip right here. The stocks went down. I mean, uh, October was like 444, but right now I'm at seven. So there was a huge dip, and now it's back up, which is pretty nice. Not 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 what I want it to be, but that's okay. Uh, so if you want to um, uh, send money to your bank after have the money after you sell your stock down here, you see where it says over here. It has that little icon here. It's showing that stock's being sold. So what you want to do is you want to go up to bank connection, and you want to go to um, <clears throat> um, withdraw funds from M1. You just come down here, and it's going to take a second over here. So it says loading. It's going to load up your uh, bank account and your M1, and um, you got to give it a minute over here. Let that load up. It usually takes a second. But uh, as soon as it's done, it's going to populate the um, your, your M1 information here. It's going to show your banking information here. And you can put in the amount that you want to transfer to your bank account. All right, so now I got my tech pie with 700 bucks in it. And I have a linked account over here. And I can come down here and transfer whatever I want. So there's already pre-selected pre uh, amounts for you. You can do 100. And um, you just click on that if you want and automatically fills that space for you or you can put in whatever amount you want of course uh transfer usually um completes within two um two to five business days usually when i sold stock in the past it usually takes about um uh, two days so yeah um what do we got over here let's read this real quick i've never looked at this before hang on a second here let's um just just a quick quick um quick um explanation about the deposit Deposits external bank account to M1 invest account. This can take up to one business day. External bank account to M1 high yield savings account. This can take up to four business days. Funds transferred into your savings account will be pending for three business days before they are made available. You can see the available date of deposited funds by navigating to your savings account and selecting the recent transfer. External bank account to crypto account. You will be immediately granted up to $5,000 of your pending deposit. The remainder will be credited to buying power when the transfer settles. External bank account to M1 personal loan payments to M1 personal loans take up to two to five business days to complete. Withdrawals, margin loan transfers, and internal transfers from M1 invest accounts are subject to the following. Okay, so it's gonna, they say it's going to take two to, two to um, five business days, but I've, I've seen it take about three days. That's how long it takes. So basically at this point, after we selected $100 coming in from the tech pie to, the, uh, to, to my banking account, I would hit continue and um, you come down here and you confirm it the amounts 100 bucks and it's from tech pie from the tech pie which is the only pie that I have um, to add my um, checking account and you just hit the confirm button <clears throat> and it's gonna take a minute for it to load up here and there you go transfer created your transfer to Astro to to your checking account has been created pending tra transfer 100 bucks transfer usually complete within two to five business days. You can just hit, you can do a, a view transfer details, click down here and it would show you everything you need to know. A hundred bucks, la da da. It's going to your uh, checking account and you're gonna hit done. And there it is. And, and if you wanna sell more, you can, um, you can click on move money and, uh, and repeat the process. Another thing that you can do after you go, after you do your sale, after you, you do um, sell your stock and transfer your money to your bank account, you can go back to your portfolio over here. And if you look down here, it says pending transfer. So you just go down here, hit view details, and it gives you the option to cancel or whatever. You know what I mean? It gives you more more um, more functions to do within the under the um, the portfolio section. Again, guys, I hope this video had helped you. I'm gonna just go ahead and click done over here. If you have, a, you guys have any question regarding investing or um, um, doing um, basically how to navigate the M1 Finance, leave your comments below. Uh, one thing I want to talk about real quick over here. You remember how I sold my stock for like um, I, I got like 143 bucks and some change, and I transferred 100 bucks, and um, I still have 43 dollars and 39 cents. So if I want to do, if I want to transfer the rest of the amount, I would go to transfer over here. And then I would do one-time transfer and basically follow the same steps that we did before. <clears throat> give it a second here to let it load. Yeah, give it a second here. Still, I don't know why it's taking a minute. Let me try to refresh. Hopefully that doesn't kick me out, out of the app. 
Um, it's taking a minute to load here. We gotta wait for it. There you go. So right now it's um, it, it took me to the one-time transfer, and you have to select from what account. I only have a TechPi, and I'm gonna go to my checking account, and I'm gonna do uh, say forty dollars, right? And then I'm gonna hit continue. Basically, I'm selling additional forty dollars, and it's gonna go from TechPi to my checking account. I'm gonna hit confirm, and. Uh, you already have pending transfer for this invest account. Please wait until the complete, okay, before. So one thing we can do uh, in the event that you run into this problem here because it's saying that you already have a transfer, we can cl we can hit, we can close this, we can go back. Here's what we'll do. If I hit continue, I wonder what happens. I'm gonna hit continue and I'm gonna hit confirm. Uh, you already have a pending transfer for this invest account. Please wait until until it complete until it completes before creating another one. Okay, so if I do hit confirm, what would happen? It's not letting me do it. So in order for you to fix that issue, here's what you need to do: you need to go back, you need to go back, and then uh, go back to your home screen by hitting the M uh, logo up here. Um, go back to your stocks and um, view details you see or I mean right here view details for pending transfers and it's got the hundred dollars right so if I can go ahead and cancel this and then go back and and change it to $140 and that would leave like three dollars on the account um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video again my name is Ali on this channel we may make where you talk about making money online uh, if this is something you're interested in please don't forget to like subscribe and comment and if you got any value out of this video, please share it. And um, best of luck um, buying stocks. Uh, what else am I going to say? There was something that I needed. Oh, yeah. I was going to say just check out the link in the description. It does give you, um, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but there's some perks. Click on it. Get started. This is completely 100% free. And you can, what you if you're just a beginner, you can transfer like $25 a week and just kind of let it transfer on autopilot. And they do have some pies that are already um, pre-built for you, recommendation pies, that if you find um, uh, something that you're interested in, you can, you can, do, you can just kind of pick out the pre-built pies for you, or you can build your own pie. But as you guys can see, I've, I've been with this um, M1 Finance for a couple of years now or so, and um, so far it's been doing really, really good for me. And as you guys can see over here, I got dividends building up. I got um, my stocks has been going up. Look where I was down here and look where I was up here. So, yeah, it's, it, it's, it's a great investment. Just kind of put in money, uh, have money come in into your account on autopilot and just kind of like let it compound interest. You know, every time you build some money over here, Every time you get some uh, dividends coming in, turn on your auto invest and automatically invest it for you. Best of luck, guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day and a happy 2024.